Let's bring in Chris Grisanti, Chief uh, Equity Strategist at MAI Capital Management. Uh, it seems from my notes, Chris, that you favor not the IPOs or the near IPOs, but ones that have come out in the past and been pummeled, like Zoom. Yeah. Tyler, it's funny because when you, when you asked me that question, I thought, well, there's some, some stocks that were really expensive in the pandemic when they came, and, and I just haven't looked at them yet. And I got to tell you, they're kind of interesting. So, so let's look at a couple of them. Zoom is the poster boy for pandemic IPOs. It actually came in 2019, but, but obviously it rose to prominence when everyone stayed home. The stock was in 600 and something. The stock is now down 88%. It's a lot like the ones you showed, like Beyond Meat and others. Um, but now it's really kind of interesting. It's $20 billion market cap, but over $7 billion they have in just cash sitting on their balance sheet and no debt. Wow. Free cash flow is strong. They're not burning that cash. They're actually growing it. They're buying back stock. It's 12 times earnings. Now, the growth isn't great, but it's an established franchise. I'm talking to you on a Zoom link right now. So obviously, big, important, successful companies like CNBC are using Zoom. So th this one, I think you ought to look at again. And if you're like me and you thought, oh, it's just too expensive, look at the math. It's kind of interesting. 12 times earnings. It's, it's very kind of um, average in a good way. It no longer stands out as being uh, super overvalued. And, and it maybe it's has almost a cheap. better yeah, right, right. cheap business model. The next one, real quickly, Chris, is a much more controversial name lately. It's been somewhat ailing. Airbnb, to walk us through this briefly. Yeah, see, I think the problem with Airbnb isn't so much that it's down. I think it has a successful business model, but we've never seen it go through a recession. It's a travel company that was really expensive. It's dropped. It's made more money, even at a lower price. So now it's about the same valuation as booking. I think if you buy it ahead of a downturn, it makes it through the downturn. I think investors will come back. You'll have yourself a good investment there. So I, I like the Airbnb, even though, as you say, Kelly, it is controversial. Quick thought on Kenview, which was was really not an IPO, but a spin from J and J. Right. Quick, quick thought there. Well, you, you know, there, it's always interesting to buy an established company. It was spun out of J and J a little more than a year ago. This is the kind of company that a private equity or a big cash flow rich mm -hmm. uh, healthcare company might want to buy. Terrific brands. It's got Tylenol, Neutrogena, uh, Listerine, Baby uh, Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Uh, great cash flow, almost a four percent right. yield. But but this is the kind that that won't be a public company in two years. At least there's a good chance of that. Wow.